Hello again, guys. Uh, welcome back to Ant Farm and the absolute crap ton of farm animals that will not leave me alone. Um, today, I think we're gonna actually get a legitimate shelter going because our little hole in the ground uh, doesn't seem to be working out too well. There we go. And we'll fix that. tree we didn't finish cutting down last time. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that down. It would have to be the most annoying of the animals, seriously. The, the cow sounds are still absolutely freaking annoying. I hate you, cow. But yeah, so first things first, we're gonna grab our, uh, grab the rest of this wood up, because we definitely need as much of that as we can get. Yes, shut up, freaking cows. There we go. I think that's the top. The only good thing about getting a giant tree is it needs plenty of saplings. So there's pretty much no way I can run out of trees now at this point. I actually had to cut out a previous playthrough for this map just because uh, I cut down the tree and I didn't get anything. The tree basically told me uh, to F off and go, go somewhere else with my BS. But yeah, the tree wasn't very nice to me. I swear, every time I restart, or start up Minecraft, it resets my music and stuff to the default level for some reason. Uh, that'll do. That's good. Oops. Um, that was like that. I, I, I didn't break the glass at all. Um, uh, oh. ow. I knew that was gonna happen and yet I stood there anyways. So. Oh, freaking cows, shut your pie hole. If I have to come down there and kill you, I'll kill you too. Be quiet. Cows. Always interrupting the peace. We got 18 wood and 21 coal, so it looks like we're good for a while. I think I'm going to go ahead and do what I said I was going to do before, which was flatten this stuff out. Jesus. I think I need to replace a lot of this with stone, because that's... that's ridiculous. I'm going to a shovel too while I'm at it. Get out of my house! God! You annoying, annoying animals. Also, so I don't forget, like last time, I'm going to make my bed now instead of later. There we go. And for now, that can just sit down here because it looks like it's turning daytime and, or nighttime anyways. Right, remember, you got to jump now. Oh my god. All the farm animals in my house. Why? Why? Thank God the dogs don't make random noise. And you could try to run yourself into getting hit. Seriously. There we go. Dead chicken is dead. And... 
Well, let's sleep till it's daytime so I can get rid of that freaking grass. That grass has got to go. The spawn rate, for some reason, around here is ridiculous. Um, yeah, let's make a couple shovels. Actually, make it three. I say three because I want to make a uh, want to make a sword without having to break down my 64 stack. Because even though I did sleep through the night, there may be some problems out front because I didn't do it fast enough. Move, please, Wolfie. No, get the hell out of the way. Alright, now you're irking my nerves. Nope. Get in the corner. Bad dog. You're a bad dog. Right. There. And now we kill the freaking farm animals. my house chicken don't go play with the uh, whatever yeah that may seem a little inhumane but uh, they don't breathe air so they'll only be in there as long as it takes me to get done out here there you go be harvesting some of this grass before I destroy it so I think that's what I'm gonna do looks like I have to break my uh, stack up and that chicken just laid an egg in that hole he's getting ready to make an axe all right there we go now I can harvest some of this grass before I destroy it all Till dirt takes longer to shovel up. It's kind of interesting. You see how fast normal dirt gets dug up, and then till dirt takes longer. Hmm. That's definitely something I didn't notice before. Stone out as well while we're at it. there's not going to be a whole lot of spelunking going on in this video, but uh, there are some cool caves, as you guys can see from the edge over there, that I may connect myself to from this ant farm, and uh, I may go spelunking there instead. farm animals out here frolicking and getting on my nerves. I think I'm going to make my wheat farms right here.
It, you just heard the wolf. The wolf is not anywhere as near annoying as the cow sound is, or even the sheep sound is, because they're not that common, but Lord Almighty, if there's... The sheep and cows do not drive somebody insane. And it's mostly because they never shut up. I think that's one of the coolest parts about this map is that the view you get when you're uh, building down here is pretty goddamn awesome. I think when the wall for the walls that you're actually close to, you can see kind of uh, how the world randomly generates in some places, and the cool little natural feel that some caves have, like when they're cut in cross sections like that. And store my three for now for my pick. That way, I've got an accurate measurement of what I'm working with here. Put our ladders up. Let's see, one, two, three away from the ladder. So we gotta go back one more. Basically, this is gonna act kind of like my. It's gonna act as my shelter for one. That's obvious from, you know, having a bed and everything else in here. But it's also going to act as a mining shaft. I'm basically going to branch everything off out of here. Going both ways, because this is kind of around the center. And I figured I'd start mining when I got down to, to about this level, the three levels deep. And I'm just going to create cross sections back and forth. Um, I will cut out, cut out a lot of that the boring kind of mining. Like right now I'm setting up the basic structure and it's not going to take me that long, but uh, when I'm strip mining back and forth to gather all the resources out of this thing, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna cut that sort of stuff out and maybe uh, leave in little excerpts of interesting things because I have seen on the side of these that there are caves in like at least the updated version, so I'm going to assume that there are some caves in this one as well. So if I do run into something interesting down here, I will cut that back in. But uh, for the most part, I'm going to cut out a lot of the mining. Here we go. 55 are to give us something to work with here up top. And a lot of the problem is I have to... I, I now have to build my base kind of like this. Like there, I can't have any open holes at all. Or tiny farm animals. One get in. Yes, they're annoying. But the more dangerous part is I I haven't seen a tiny creeper. But if tiny creepers exist, they are probably going to be one of the most dangerous things on uh, in Minecraft, just because of how freaking fast the small animals move. Like, um, I don't know if, if you check back to the previous video for this, uh, ant farm of doom, I ran into that problem with skeletons, and I got freaking owned. I mean, absolutely owned by a little block high skeleton. Just charging at me Leroy style and spamming arrows like there's no tomorrow and he absolutely destroyed me. Speaking of which I have to cut on here to the other side. I think I'm gonna have a dual style door over here. Have a door on the opposite side of this too. Nighttime again, really? That quick. Oh well. Uh, before I continue on with this, I'm gonna have to finish blocking up my house. Dirt. There we go. And 
and make a door real quick. Because I am getting tired of having to destroy the dirt every time. I, I don't know what the heck I was getting ready to make there. But yeah, I'm getting kind of annoyed having to destroy the dirt every time to get in and out of the house and not being able to see out front. Because that's the most dangerous part. There we go. That looks better. And I'm just going to leave that dirt for now. I'll have to, I'll, I'll cut it out eventually just because OCD is like, mm, no, can't leave one patch of dirt. Never. I do kind of like how it contrasts, though, the dirt roof. So I may end up just putting stone over top of this to keep crap from spawning up there. And uh, maybe pile, or uh, this, the, what are the half steps, or... Yeah, what do they call them? Stone slabs? Cobblestone slabs? Yeah, these things. Stone slabs. The day and night cycle actually moves pretty quickly when you're not paying attention. And I'm going to have to fix that ladder situation as well. Because that was just fail jump after fail jump. Oh, uh, waited a little too long. We got spawns out here. Anything up top? Yes, no? Alright, cool. Let's go uh, say hello to Mr. Zombie. Hi, Mr. Zombie. You want to give us a hug? We'll give you hugs. See? Hugs. Okay. I'm, I'm busy staring at the wolfie and I'm getting owned by a slow-moving Mr. Zombie. I thought that was a spider up there going ape crap on uh, the sheep. Are you gonna do it? Oh! Oh! Ooh. Ow. You hurt yourself there, Mr. Wolfie. Alright. Now to fix my OCD. There we go. And these will eventually be steps like, down to here. And then this will be my front yard kind of thing. Now we need a new pick. And I uh, guess we'll just make two while we're at it. I'm carrying a lot of crap in my inventory that I really don't need to be carrying because I've got the wood for chests. That's, I think this side's a lot higher than I thought it was. I hope I don't end up hitting the wall. Because, yeah, this is flat with that side. Okay, no, I was about to say, I was, hope you don't end up hitting that glass wall, because that would be kind of bad. Ooh, dead skeletors. Don't mind if I do. A lot of dead skeletons. Hope there's nothing up top. That could be dangerous. We got six bones. Let's go see if we can tame the wolf. Because we got some more bones here. That was fail. Eh. Forget it. I'm just do it. I've made that jump before, that's why I didn't fix it, but not in the mood to fail a thousand times. Alright, uh, let's dig Mr. Wolfie out. Hi, Mr. Wolfie. Did you eat the chicken? You ate the chicken, didn't you? Ooh. Came to him after one bone that time. Let's see if we can tame the other. Ooh. Cool. Now we have two wolfies. Alright, inside, because I don't want you playing with creepers. Come on. Really, Mr. Wolfie, are you that fail? Alright, back up. I'll put a block. There. Come on. I'm, I'm going to assume you don't know how to get through a door. 
Is that the problem? There. Right. Come on. Now can you get in the house? Yeah, now you can get in the house. Alright. Um, I guess we'll make this the doll room. You guys get to hang out up here. And I won't be using these guys in combat. Um, goes back to the whole creeper thing I was talking about before. They just charge blindly at whatever looks at you funny. So, if it's a creeper looking at you funny, that can be very disastrous for not only your life, but uh, your house's, I guess, stability. Because it'll be destroying everything around you. And Mr. Wolfie will meet his untimely demise. And we don't want that. Um, I think we're going to need three sets of these. Because each of the front... No, nope, we're going to need more than that. Because each of the front pieces is six. And then I need one for the doorway. Yep. Or is it five? Yeah, it's five. Ooh, Mr. Chicken. You don't want to be stuck in the steps, buddy. Oh, well. I'll have five for the rows on the other side, I guess. Well, why do you guys keep pushing me? Alright, I gotta clean my roof off. Alright, um, inside of this. Uh, let's just do it this way. Let me make this upper floor longer. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make this upper floor this long. Like, as long as it is flat. So, we'll just clean off that whole roof and make it... Or... No, because then you got this back like this. And this is just all sand. How many is it going to take to get flat? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to take six. It's going to take six to get flat. Alright. That means we need to go back five. enough for some armor now. I think I've got like seven pieces of leather. No, eleven. Wow, I've actually got a, enough for uh, a couple of the decent pieces. I usually make uh, chest piece and pants first because they give the most armor rating. Boots and um, or yeah, boots and helmet are better when you're getting stuff like uh, diamond. Because, you know, you can use less of it, get better armor, that kind of thing, and that lasts longer. But uh, for cheap stuff like iron and um, the leather that you get from the cows, those are generally better to do the chest piece or the legs because they provide better benefit overall. come back to there. This is going to be where the start of our house is. Uh, from this side. So, uh, block up. I <laughs> have it very bad habit you pick up from playing FPS is constantly looking behind your back uh, particularly when you play campy stuff like uh, Ghost Recon or uh, Call of Duty when you're playing hardcore mode 
Even though hardcore mode can turn into gun fests quite quickly if you're playing with the right people. But yeah, not watching your not watching your ass when you're running and gunning. It's not as big a deal as uh big a deal when it doesn't take one bullet to kill you. Team Fortress is another one where you gotta watch your ass, cause if you don't watch your ass, you get one shot. Thanks to uh, Mr. Spy. Mr. Spy is not a problem for me, honestly. I have S snipers tend to be more of a pain in the ass for me than uh, spies do. Cause it never fails. Whenever I seem to get into a server, it's always with some. Pro sniper can pick your ass off from one inch of or one inch worth of viewing room from a mile away, and I hate that crap. Mostly because I'm just not that good. Envy, I guess. So I think since I'm gonna do the artificial roof. Yeah, since it, since I'm gonna do the artificial roof, I think I'm gonna just gonna have uh, this stack up another one like that, except make them slabs going back that way until we get to the other side. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, close that up. Close this up because I don't want Mr. Wolfie. Or Mr. Wolfie's getting ganked by creepers. Whoa, what the heck? Do you guys see that on the background of my inventory? Oh, okay, it's from the sunset. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Look at that. <laughs> it's more blocky instead of the smooth kind of thing. Oh, right, I was making torches to keep this lit up. I've got ADD bad. I get distracted so easily. And I think we'll make a 60 stack. Yeah, that should last us for a bit. Two up here. And uh, just put a couple random ones there. Keep it lit up for now. And I think I'm going to uh, cut this one off for now. Uh, next time we'll finish cleaning off uh, the roof up top. Um, I may play a bit tomorrow. Uh, I probably won't record it because I probably won't record much other than like little highlights of stuff because I'll be mining down here mostly. Uh, going back in that direction until I hit the wall and then going back in this direction until I hit the wall, that kind of thing. So I won't record that other than uh, small highlights or, you know, when I find something good, if I find like uh, a giant hunk of iron or something. So, next time, guys.